The month of November had everything from broken records for warmth to our first inch of snow in the WNEP backyard. Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Sally Gallo takes a look back at November's weather. It was sort of a tale of two seasons during the month of November. The first half of the month was well above average, with temperatures getting into the 70s for highs several times. But by mid-month, there was a flip of the switch, and the second half was much more seasonal. Still, with the high and low temperatures recorded at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 2022 will be ranked in the top 10 for warmest Novembers on record. The warmest day of the month in the Scranton area was on Saturday, November 5th. It was 75 degrees that afternoon. The coldest temperature recorded this month was on the morning of the 21st. It was 20 degrees that morning, and it was the coldest air we've seen so far this season here in the Scranton area. In Williamsport, it was 74 degrees on November 5th, 6th, and 7th. Those were the warmest days of the month. It was also the coldest on the morning of the 21st, with a low of just 17 degrees. On Saturday, November 12th, both the Scranton and Williamsport areas tied the record high temperature for that day. Then just three days later, on Tuesday, November 15th, we had our first wintry weather of the season. Winter weather advisories were issued for all of northeastern and central PA, and snow moved in by the afternoon. WNEP picked up its first inch of snow in the backyard around 6 o'clock that evening, ending the annual snow thrower contest. We picked up a total of 1.2 inches of snow that night. Some of the higher snow totals were in higher elevations, where some spots picked up about 3 or 4 inches of snow. Daylight saving time also came to an end this month, and now we're experiencing sunsets before 4.40 p.m. As November comes to an end, there's still a few more weeks until winter officially begins. The solstice is on Wednesday the 21st. Many ski resorts in the area still don't have an opening date set just yet, but are hoping that winter weather will be here soon. Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16.